Hello everybody, this is Joel, aka Bourbon Zingo, and welcome to episode 29 of my second series on Let's Play Crusader Kings 2. Alright, during the last episode, we actually, at the very beginning of it, we won this little crusade right here, and had gained, oh, actually, I believe we'd won the crusade at the very beginning of it, and King Neil took over. And during that time, we had a couple people uh, sue for independence, and when they did, we just sort of handed them their uh, their areas down here, and they immediately got taken back over. Um, we do still have a rather decent size of them right here in the middle of all this area, and we'll see how that goes, whether or not I'm interested in keeping them for right now. Currently, what we're doing is we're actually setting up... Uh, trying to get some claims in Norway and what we're gonna do is when we get those claims in Norway I'm gonna try to get claims on everything up here just finish taking all of these islands and such but we're gonna get the clock started I'm gonna jump it up as you can see we have a revolt risk popping up here and there's not too much I can do with this uh, well <laughs> I guess that answers my question right there we're gonna pause real fast see if anybody's willing to join us seem to be fairly disliked across the board. Um, but, and as you can see, one little area down here actually belongs to him. I'm not sure exactly how he got that, but... That's fine. Let's go ahead and raise our own troops. We're going to raise all of our troops. But before I unpause, I'm going to go and find... Make sure I don't have any floating around anywhere. What we're going to do is we're actually going to move about all those straight into there. And then, well, actually, let's do it this way. Let's send everybody in Wales up into Albany up here. I'll send the people coming from down here into Powys. Take care of that. I think I'm just going to zoom out a bit here, send them in as well. They did revolt, but we have another one who's willing to revolt here shortly. As you can see, he went ahead and uh, revolted as well. See if they're willing to help us in either one of those, and they're not. Um, not that they'd be able to do much for us anyway in that regard. Alright, we have been asked by Count Gwynhard of Insegal to accept the fealty of... This is the first time I've ever seen this pop up. Let's go ahead and give that a shot. Yep, and he came right back under us. So he did not want to be a part of the... Uh... of the revolt. And that's actually fairly nice. Somehow we lost this battle up here even though we had quite a few more troops. Keep this pause. We're going to take a look right here. Pull them together. Pull them together and keep them moving into that direction. And I guess I will send this guy over here. Now, it appears that Duke Arthfall of Moray down here just declared war on Catanus to pull it under his control. And that's kind of interesting. Alright, we got chased down. Or, Oriel here had their retinue that started fighting. Alright, Duke Angus of Somerset passed away. Let's go, go ahead and pause. Point us a new Chancellor. Once again, I'm going to set them 
believe what I may do is just keep eating away at England as best I can. I believe that's going to be our best option. Alright. And our guys over here are being defeated. Let's see if I can't get them to go connect over here. My wife is pregnant. They're chasing down that small group. And we've actually gotten a claim on this first area. So we're going to go ahead and use that claim. I'm going to pause it and move him down into Westmoreland down here. We'll, oh, hang on. In a few months, I'll move him down. Alright, we have one of our areas being assaulted right here. And in fact, a rather large portion of troops. Uh, what I may do is go ahead and spend a little bit on one of the cheaper sets of soldiers here. 150, I'll get that many soldiers. We're going to go ahead and get them into here. And then what we'll do is we'll use this army to clear up some of these here in a second. Alright, we have one, two sieges. And what I'm going to do is, since that's all the area I can siege in this first place, we are going to do what we had said before and start sending him around to clear up some of these armies that are floating around here. Alright, as you can see, we pulled in one of his uh, vassals. Since he's not exceptionally important for anything, we're just going to release him and it'll make our, our uh, vassals like us a bit more. Alright, I've got them down to probably about enough. We have a bishop that has uh, done this, so I'm going to set him up for ransom. Um, nah, we'll re no, I'll keep him in prison currently. Alright, so we've forced them away, and they really don't have enough to keep the, uh, the battle going. They'll keep pulling out some people here and there more than likely to uh, join the little group that we have right here. All right, let's pause real fast, make sure I'm not missing anything. We have two areas that can be usurped. I'm going to go ahead and uh, ignore this one because once he gains enough money again, he'll do it again. Uh, no claims, nothing I can really mess with here and the only ally I have isn't going to come to my aid anyway so let's keep at it we're about to finish sieging the first area here in Wales I'm sorry here in uh, Fife We just had our first son who's become our heir, so that will make people like us a little bit more with that. Two people currently at war with one another, both uh, the Isles and Albany. So they've been messing with each other here a little bit, and that's, that's good for us. All right, and we still have our bishop down here actually doing some work uh, converting everybody to Catholicism. pause real fast because we have been given a peace offering over here. Alright. 
we're gonna move these guys into Argyle right here. My mother has become the regent for Muriel of Cornwall. I'm sorry, of uh, of Albany. And they're complaining about bad accommodation, so we're just going to throw them into the oubliette. My king was maimed last time in a uh, tournament that we held. Alright, we're going to take a look right here real fast. We've got a 10 to 1 ratio here, so I'm going to go ahead and just start assaulting these areas. Still some slow going down here. might be over by the time he actually gets all said and done there. What I find interesting is that the city of Donnelly here has a ton of defenders right now. Okay, the Islander War to install it ended inconclusively. Alright, so both of those guys are going to He immediately started... Okay, that was because the person they were trying to install passed away in the dungeon. They immediately turned around and started up a new faction. Let's take a good hard look and decide if I want to go ahead and attempt anything here. He joined another faction over here. This right here is probably one of the biggest issues. Um, the possibility of giving that away is pretty easy. Um, I'm not sure exactly what I would do with it. Uh, but we're going to get the clock started again. I've gotten rid of everybody, so we should be gaining money again. There's a rumor that one of the nobles might be corrupt. We're going to let him use the info as he sees fit. And it got him killed. Which is interesting. Duke Sinfin of Albany. Who is in jail. So we're actually going to set our wife, who doesn't really like us. I'm sort of interested in the fact that she doesn't like us, but we're going to get the Keeper of the Swans. And we'll go ahead and set her to study technology in York again. We're going to move him down into there. And we're going to take care of the traders now, actually. Um, something I should have done almost immediately. But we're going to remove the Duchy of Albany from him. Taking a quick look throughout here, he uh, he owned both Gowrie and Strathern. Hmm. Really have a couple people here that dislike us. However, he will like us once we go ahead and hand this off. So I'm going to hand him the Duchy of Albany. and get that clock started again. It's interesting as we still have this battle going on down here between the Emirate of Marrakesh and uh, England. Hmm. 
And apparently there is a Muslim ruler. Okay. Bastard can cause a lot of trouble. We're being asked to try to kill the bastard. Um, we didn't legitimize him, so he's not going to inherit. But I'm not going to attempt to kill the bastard. Okay, my wife is pregnant again. But it's interesting, we actually have some Muslims up here in Brittany. So I'm not real sure what's happening there. Get rid of some of those, and while we're waiting on some other happenings, we're going to go ahead and take a quick look. The Golden Horde is pushed into Ruthenia. Um, there appears to be little in the way of uh, resistance, but we probably have to still wait a little while to see exactly what's happening here. Um, the Byzantine Empire, while not nearly as large as they are, is doing okay, especially considering how it's wedged between both the Ilkhanate and the uh, Golden Horde. Taking a look, the Fatimids are disappearing again. Holy Roman Empire is heavily expanding down here, which is still massively interesting. Um, Byzantine Empire actually just disbanded once more. Holy Roman Empire is dealing with something right now. The County of Metz. Uh, the County of Metz is actually not at war with the Holy Roman Empire, but separate from it, which means that somehow these guys got away. And they appear to be all sorts of different places. So I'm not real sure what happened there. Alright, and uh, we're saying that our work bores us. We're looking for some hunting or some... Uh, perhaps I should send for a new bird. And we're going to send for a new bird. Okay, and we did really well. Alright, we are slowly getting some more money back. So I'm going to take a look. We're going to start keeping a thousand as a nest egg. Alright, we've had another son, Banger. Who is a much better option for becoming our next in line. What I think I might do here is take a look at our current heir. Alright, we just had some heresy appears, so we're going to pause real fast, and I'm going to pull up our court chaplain to come into Strathern and try to root out that heresy. But, we do have a little bit of money, and I can move my spymaster, who uh, funnily enough is our our queen into the capital. What I'm going to do is attempt an assassination here. Okay. We failed to slay, but our involvement remained unknown. We're going to go ahead and send him again because this is actually really good. We have a really good chance of actually doing it. Three in a row. I'm going to delve. Well, at a 40% chance, four tries didn't work. So what we're going to do is we're going to have that be our focus, is clearing him out in uh, for the way of uh, our new our our new son, who actually was born with the genius feat trait, which means that he would end up being a better ruler altogether. 
Byzantine Empire seemed to have reformed without Georgia. I'm not sure if... what that actually means for them, but... I suppose we'll see here in a bit. Alright. We'll let time keep running through here. I can now usurp the Duchy of Toledo. Uh, it's 169 gold. We'll forego that for now. I'll let the, uh, the people in that area actually worry about doing that. Alright, taking a look. Don't know if he was imprisoned... No, he, we didn't imprison him. He was imprisoned by his, uh, his own. Since this was over, yeah, I can't take anything from him since it ended inconclusively. We did, however, I believe... Gain control of Insegal. Alright, we have just had Duke Richard of Albany become excommunicated. We're going to see if. We can't get the Pope to lift that for us. Pope doesn't like us enough. Alright, so there's been a jihad called against these. The Kafirs and the Sultanate of Persia. Ah, okay. So they're going after the the uh, the Ilkhanate over here. All right. That should mean that we have finished. Yeah. We rooted out the heresy. So now I'm going to go ahead and send him off into. Oops. Try to send him, our court uh, chaplain, off to continue his converting back to the English faith, uh, Catholic faith. All right, and we've been asked to. Uh, money continues to flow through the trade post in Gwynedd, but your relationship with the merchant family has soured. So let's go ahead and say that we're going to assemble the mob. Alright, we burned it to the ground. Alright. Go ahead and pause real fast, take a look at my options for imprisoning him. My options right now are because he's excommunicated. That's all we got right there. Ah! Duke of Moray up here had taken a uh, Katniss away from... Norway. It's a lot smaller than normal. They're currently at war with Prince Rolf the Fat. It's Queen Snowfrid, who actually is unmarried, exceptionally old. We have an heir to the Kingdom of Norway down here. Um, can't invite her to court. Can we set up a marriage? No, the only thing that I can see that I can possibly do here, maybe arrange a betrothal with her, and that's Gyrid, and one of my sons, likely my... second son here. I won't take that, and that's because she is 
43, so she would absolutely have to have a child now, pretty much. So that's not going to work for us. Alright, we had uh, our uncle passed away, and so we have regained the county of Calatrava, the barony, as well as the barony, uh, yeah, and the duchy. So let's go ahead and close this out. You can see that we've jumped up to 7 of 8. Swinging in down here, I believe Calatrava is here, but it's under Prince Riss over here. And this actually works for us rather well because since he's the Duke of this area right here and becoming fairly, uh, angry with us as you can see down here he doesn't like us at all um, that this will hamstring him should he decide to attack us at any point so we'll hold on to that until he passes away and then maybe hand this off to one of his children we're gonna go back and see if we can't spend some more money failed to slay him again. So, out of five times, we basically failed. Right, Norway has dissolved to one county right now that is not at war for Norway. Oh, no, they still have Vestis land over here as well. All right, my lover accused me of loving my spouse, Queen Ilva, more than uh, more than her. We can. I'm gonna go ahead and take her to my courtly manor for some quality time. And that gained us the. Uh, Lustful trait. My wife very much dislikes us for that, by the way. Alright, we're going to go into debt for a little bit, because I'm going to pull up this second... Uh, this second claim over here. We've actually dropped in how much money we're gaining, which makes me worry that there's a lot of people here that dislike us. Okay, we can... We There's a traveling poet who calls himself a bard that arrived today, and we're just going to say he can stay for as long as he likes. I'm going to pause real fast, because what we're going to take a look at... No, I don't really need to pause for it. We're going to start paying attention to whether or not we want to go ahead and Arcadian War for Seville no matter how discreet my Ilva has grown suspicious of my behavior behavior we can tell her it's none of her business she already hates us We'll spend more time with her at home, as she wishes. And we had another fallout with her, so she's down to an 82% or an 82 negative opinion of us. So I believe I'm going to find someone else to make my spy master. Seeing another woman behind my spouse's back is becoming quite troublesome. So we can have a chance of gaining trace and lose that loving feeling. Um, or we can say that I don't care for my spouse. And she already has a minus 100 of us, so it's not really going to change too much. Let's go ahead and... Uh, I guess I'll go ahead and end the affair if possible. Replace the lustful with the 
be a, a chaste, and my lover is has fallen out of love with me. But I'm going to try and find my ledger real fast here. See why I'm not really gaining any money. Seem to be at a very low. Income levels compared to my previous. Uh, My previous kings. Huh. Not real sure how I'll handle this. I do actually have a few soldiers that I can use. My daughter has come of age, so we're going to go ahead and let her be trained by someone Welsh, uh, the Counts of Insegal. All right, let's combine them, and like always, actually just going to pull the people that dislike me to hold a couple of these flanks as well as a few people that do like me just so that I can make sure we don't immediately lose it. Alright, I kept chased for a very short period of time. Okay, and the Coggins of the Ilkhanid have actually foiled the assassins. Alright, we won the war against that rebellion. Alright, swinging in again real fast. There's still a theocracy floating around in France. Uh... As we can see, the Golden Horde is expanding even further west. They appear to be focusing almost entirely on the Byzantine Empire. Uh, the Okanet doesn't seem to have given up much land to the uh, the Jihad that was called. Norway is still in dire straits. And we are still trying to get that. I'm going to stop at the first of the year, which, there we go. And we accomplished a little bit here, getting enough, uh, putting down a couple of rebellions, and assuring, attempting continuously to the detriment of our coffers over here to... Uh, to assassinate one of our weaker heirs. But right now, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go, and I will see you during the next episode. Thanks for watching.